Leicester City have a brand new manager, and that is Dean Smith, the ex Villa coach. He will be the head. He'll be the head coach at the end of the season, and will be joined by John Terry and something Shakespeare, whatever his name is. Um, what do I think about this? I think. I think why. I think he wasn't that good of a manager, if I'm being completely honest. He might not. He might not have even been at Villa. I can't even remember. It probably was Villa, but um, but I'm thinking, why didn't you just let Brendan Rodgers keep the job? You know, bringing a new manager in when there's a month left, so much pressure against them, and this guy has never achieved anything in the game. Neither. I mean, to be fair, Brendan Rodgers hasn't achieved much. Well, you got to be asking the question. Is this the guy really to save him from relegation? I honestly, I don't know. You know, Lampard at Chelsea. I don't even think Tottenham have brought anyone in yet. Um, and obviously, Dean Smith's at Leicester now. So it's it's going to be an intriguing end to the season. You know, I'm not saying it's the greatest appointment. I think they should look for someone a bit more stronger next season. But again, if he can keep them up this season, I'm pretty sure he'll be given the job for next season. So, uh, yeah, not the greatest choice, I think. But again, there isn't many picks out there that, that would it be attracted to Leicester. You know, I think they went for Potter. I think they went for the ex Leeds manager, the American one. Um, and obviously, they've settled on Dean. So, yeah, you know, win or lose, this guy has nothing to lose because, you know, no one's expecting anything from Leicester because they're a run-down team with players who have just pa- passed their expiration date, Davardi. Madison can only do much. Barnes can only do much. Again, they lost Shamichael last season. They've lost Mares and Kante over the years. So, yeah, maybe this is the end of Leicester. Maybe they're finally going to go back down to the championship. Maybe they're going to have to rebuild, lose the players that have made them who they are. And it's going to be crazy to see, you know, because 2016, they were Premier League champions. And now we're in 2023, seven years later, and they are possible relegation candidates. You know, they have brilliant players, but again, when you when when you don't have a, a coherent, when they don't connect, basically, it's never going to work. So I'm intrigued to see what happens with Dean Smith and John Terry at the helm. Let me know down below. Let me know down below in the comments your thoughts on Dean Smith's appointment. Are you excited, or who would you have appointed instead? Subscribe, like as always, for more sports news, and I'll be back soon for more. Goodbye.